Whether you are interested in joining IT forces or starting an IT service business and not being sure which direction to take, this video is for you. Today we will talk about 10 tech jobs that are booming and that are trending right now in both salaries and growth. So if you're interested, continue watching. If you're new here, my name is Olga and on this channel we talk a lot about IT businesses, IT careers, online businesses and work at home careers. If you're interested, make sure to click the notification bell right after you click the subscribe button to be the first to watch my new episodes and let's begin. And if you're a veteran here, welcome back to Gun. Without further ado, let's dive in. And the first profession I want to talk about, like bottom up, it's a product manager. Now, who is the product manager? A product manager determines the parameters and the features that a product must have, the product that the development team develops. And a product man manager is sort of a bridge between the development, the marketing team, and the business development or the management team. Now, what are the skills that any product manager should have? Now, the first one is a strong understanding of PLM, product lifecycle management. The second one would be a strong understanding of PM tools like Jira, Asana, whatever PM tool you're using inside the corporation, but typically it's Jira. The third one would be strong time management skills, because not only you will have to define which time goes where, not only for yourself, but also for the team, but you will also have to direct the efforts of your each team member in a certain direction so that they produce some sort of results by the said deadline. And the four skills you should have is a strong analytical skills, because you are the one who is responsible for meeting deadlines in terms of bringing new and new updates of the products, analyzing whether or not does those features or improvements are good or bad for the product, and also how you're going to market your product and whether those features are at all necessary in order to market it better. Product managers are responsible for bringing a strategic plan that will help to fulfill certain goals for that product. So product manager is actually responsible for everything. The estimated average salary of a product manager is about 100,000 per year, which is a good thing if you think of it. The next profession that is in high demand as of now is AI engineer. So what does AI engineer do in an organization? Now the AI engineer oversees, develops and manages all the AI initiatives in the company. And the AI engineer should have such skills as strong mathematical and statistics background, solid programming skills like Python, R, Torch, understanding how TensorFlow and other similar technologies work. AI engineer has a clear understanding and technologies related to AI, for example, including all of the machine learning, neural networks and deep learning technologies. And to brighten up, the average yearly salary of an AI engineer is $110,000 per year. The next trending profession in IT is full stack developer. Now there were full stack developers previously and there are, but with current situation and with current landscape in the industry, there are about 23 millions of IT professionals in the world and it is projected that by 2023 there will be more and more developers projected at 28 million of IT professionals like globally. Now what are the customers looking for in a developer like with so many people you want to simplify your development efforts and this is why professions like full stack developers and devops engineers for example come into play and play such a significant role because people want to simplify development and people want to unite two in one and that's why people and customers love to deal with full stack developers who can both work on front end and back end efforts and actually deliver the entire product rather than hiring the team to do that separately. Now, some of the knowledge and skills you need to become a full stack developer. Technologies such as MongoDB, ExpressJS, AngularJS, Node.js, you should learn how to design and how to develop an API, coding, scripting, fundamentals of web development, basics of database technologies. And the average yearly salary of a full stack developer is almost the same as that of an AI engineer. And that is about one hundred and seven, one hundred and eight thousand dollars per year. Now, a small interruption here. If you're interested in IT professions, both tech and non-tech, make sure to grab my ultimate guide on IT professions. The link is below. You can download it and choose the career according to your liking. Now, the next on the list is 
cloud architect. And since nowadays everything is moving to the cloud, this profession becomes more and more relevant and this is one of the highest paying tech jobs as of now. A cloud architect deploys and manages and oversees the companies moving to the cloud strategy. Now, some of the skills uh, that a cloud architect must possess include a thorough understanding of cloud application architecture, knowledge of Amazon Web Services, AWS, Azure or Google Cloud Platform, and good communication skills because you will be one of the key team members in the team and you will have to be on the board's meetings and to discuss the strategy of moving your data to the cloud and to ensure the security of those data while doing so. Now, a cloud architect is responsible for typically everything related to the cloud infrastructure for the development part, for the maintenance part and for the further support part and which is actually called like smart support because you'll have to deal on a day-to-day -day basis with some uh, daily issues uh, with your data but you don't actually have to migrate it anywhere. So this is a very important role and the estimated average um, yearly salary is about the same as the previous like $110,000 per year. Now the next profession you want to hear about one of the highest paying tech jobs on the market that is currently trending like crazy and that is DevOps engineer. And by the way, if you haven't seen one of my previous videos on how to become a DevOps engineer, uh, interviewed with my husband, DevOps engineer, make sure to check it out on the channel. The link is below. Now, who is a DevOps engineer? Basically, it's someone who is responsible for the entire network infrastructure in your company and someone who deploys and oversees the network maintenance while your developers are delivering their work. Now, some of the skills required of a DevOps engineer include scripting and coding, understanding deployment and network operations, familiarity with DevOps tools like Git, Jenkins, knowledge of Linux and Unix system administration, AWS, Terraform, Azure, and all of the related technologies. A DevOps engineer might be responsible for the designing and maintaining the entire deployment infrastructure, integrating cloud services so that some processes could be automated and so on. And the estimated salary for a DevOps engineer currently varies is from $100,000 per year up to $140,000 per year. Like I said, this tech job is trending. So make sure to check out all the related videos on my channel related to that. The next tech job that is trending and one of the highest paying tech job in the industry is blockchain engineer. Now, a blockchain engineer specializes in developing and maintaining the architecture based on blockchain technology. The worldwide spending on blockchain technologies and solutions is estimated at uh, 16 billion by 2023. So this is the job that you might definitely want to consider as your next step. From a bird's eye view, a blockchain engineer should have solid programming skills and thorough understanding of the technologies behind Ripple, R3, Ethereum and Bitcoin, as well as consensus methodologies and security protocol stacks uh, like uh, crypto libraries and functions. And the estimated average yearly salary of a blockchain engineer is around $150,000 per year. The next trending tech job that will never get old is software architect. You can never do without a software architect when you want to develop a solution. A software architect optimizes the development process by analyzing and by making a decision on the best design choice and dictating technical standards such as coding, tools and platforms. And now let's get to the skills that a software architect should have. Those include data modeling, understanding of software architecture, good programming skills, I would say like stellar programming skills, strong analytical skills and so on. And as part of their role, they are identifying a customer's requirements and perform hands-on work to develop prototypes. And the average yearly salary is estimated at $115,000 per year, which is pretty nice. The next trending tech job that we must talk about is big data engineer. Internet users generate about 2.5 quintillion bytes of data each day. So how do you think we are going to manage all of this data? By the way, if you haven't watched my previous videos on 
big data engineering and how to become a data engineer, make sure to check out this video of mine where I talk with my co-founder who is a data architect and big data engineer and he will share his experience and what skills you need to become a data engineer and this one where I talk exactly what skills you will need to become a big data engineer. Back to the topic, 97% of all huge organizations invest into AI and dealing with big data because you cannot analyze and you cannot predict anything without first preparing that data for future analysis. Now clearly the next in the line of the highest paying tech jobs and trending tech jobs is big data architect. Like big data architect is like one step further than a big data engineer. And the responsibilities are typically the same and that includes planning, designing and managing the entire life cycle of large scale developments and deployments of big data applications. And some of the skills a big data engineer or a big data architect should have include a strong understanding of Hadoop ecosystem, Spark, NoSQL, as well as data warehousing technologies. Also programming skills like stellar programming skills, data visualization skills, extremely important, excellent communication skills, and on the bright side, the average yearly salary of a big data engineer is estimated at 150 or 140 thousand dollars per year. The next trending tech job we should talk about is IoT solutions architect. Now this tech job is in high demand as of now, is one of the highest paying jobs in the industry. So what does Internet of Things Solutions Architect do. IoT Architect is overseeing the strategy behind the development and deployment of IoT solutions. Like in addition to understanding IoT solutions, one should also have strong programming skills, understanding of machine learning and knowledge of hardware design and architecture. The average salary here is $130,000 per year, which again is one of the highest paying jobs in the industry. And another high pad tech job that is trending right now and has shown like a 30% increase in demand as of lately is data scientist and the estimated salary here is $150,000 per year, like one of the highest paying jobs in the industry. So what does a data scientist do? A data scientist interprets and analyzes data for organizations for them to make a more thorough and in well-predicted decisions and well-predicted moves. So a data scientist makes predictions based on the thorough analysis of the data that they receive. Now, a data scientist should be able to understand machine learning algorithms, create data models, code in languages like Python, R, SAS, Julia, and other analytical tools, identify business issues and provide appropriate solutions. I have done a very detailed video on how to become a data scientist and what skills a data scientist must have check it out on my channel the link is below and if you have any questions related to this profession make sure to drop your questions below now let me know if you agree that these are the most trending tech jobs as of now and if they will be as popular in the coming decade now let me know your opinion in the comments below because i'm gathering insights all the time and if you have any data that i'm not aware of please share it with me in the comments below. As always, I would appreciate you hitting the like button if you like this video, share it with your friends if you think they will benefit from this video, join my social media and have a great week, have a great mood and see you next week. As always, I'll be waiting. Bye.